Yo, I'm Nez, and I'm up in the kitchen. And this time, what we're gonna be doing, I'm just gonna go over this uh, uh, cast iron griddle that I uh, picked up. You know, you can get this at Target, Walmart, any of those places, but you know where I get my stuff. On Amazon, baby. Got this bad boy, picked this bad boy up for 15 bucks. You know, you can't beat that. And Walmart and Target, I believe they're like 25, 30. But you know, I always go where the deals are. So enough about that. Let's get into this. You already know, everybody knows what a griddle is for, what you do with it. So. I'm just going to do what it do. What we're going to also do is I'm going to go around and do a little uh, little tour around this. And we're also going to show you how to seal it. Okay. Okay. So let's just go ahead and take some of this crap off. You got your artwork right here by Lodge. Cast iron skillet. Take that sticky goo stuff off the back of it. Boom. Open it up. That's what it looks like on the inside. More artwork. Y'all can pause and read it if you want. You know I ain't doing it. Bam. Okay, on the back, more info. Bam, put that to the side. Like everything else, um, well, I shouldn't say like everything else because mostly everything in this country is made in China, but this happened to be an American-made product, so it's good for Lodge, good for them. Take this off, we don't need this on here anymore. America, baby. America. All right, you got the Lodge emblem engraved into the pan there. Got your little grooves for the griddle. That's what's gonna put the nice sear on whatever meat or chicken or whatever you have in here. They have some kind of coating on here, but don't worry about that. We're gonna wash all that off because whenever you get something new, whenever you get a new fry pan of any sort, you always wanna wash it, do a real good scrubbing on it. We're gonna go over that and everything too because you never wanna just take it right out the store, take it home and start frying up on it. You don't know what kind of toxins and stuff they seal this bad boy in to be sealed in. So you wanna scrub all that off, okay? Fill it, turn it over. Got a, another Lodge, little Lodge logo engraved in there. Bam. On this side, tells you what it is. Oh, this bad boy is heavy. It's got some weight to it. It's a ribbed grill pan, rib fry pan, same thing. So let's go ahead and peel that off. Bam, it's like that. Put that to the side over there. Now, when we seal this bad boy, you want to make sure we seal the entire pan, top, bottom, handle, everything, all right? Because you don't want this bad boy to rough, uh, rust and uh, sealing it or uh, sealing it and uh, seizing in it seasoning it is another term to use for it it prevents all that so what we're going to do is we're going to take this bad boy um, over to the sink and then we're going to give it a good scrubbing and then we're going to go from there so see you on the flip in okay we back in okay now the best way to season uh to, uh to clean these bad boys is with a grill is with a um brillo pad but since i forgot to I'm just going to use my regular scrub pad you just got to make sure you soap it up a lot um, so you're just going to make sure you put a lot of soap on it because you want to get this bad boy mad soapy. And when you, uh, when you wash it, you want to use the, as hot as the water as you can tolerate. I am not really good with, uh, hot water. So it's going to be like lukewarm for me, but, um, that's about as hot as I can tolerate. And we're going to go ahead and wash this bad boy down really well. First, I want to lather it up real good. Make sure you get in the grooves. You want to make sure you get all that. Get soap in the grooves really well. And then I'm going to put the scrub side. And I'm going to scrub this bad boy real good. You want to make sure you try to get all the parts of the pan because you want to make sure whatever coating you have on there, you wash it up really well. Try to get it off. So that way, when we go to actually start seasoning it, it uh, the seasoning uh, takes hold. Well, here with the handle, scrub it. You want to put some elbow grease into this bad boy? Don't worry, you can take it. I got this bad boy steaming now. I don't like it that hot. I can't tolerate it. And then after you scrub this bad boy up real good, all parts, you want to make sure. I mean, you want to make sure you rinse it off thoroughly. You want to rinse it all off, get everything off of it. Okay. Rinse it off really well. Rinse this bad boy off really well. Yeah. What I also might suggest, depending on what type of uh, 
sink you have is maybe a layer of paper, I mean, uh, uh, a towel down there so that way your pan, depending, you know, because some of these pans are really heavy, you don't want it to scratch up the bottom. This is heavy, but not as heavy as some of them that I've had. So I didn't have to lay anything down here, but I would suggest that you, to, you know, if you have like a porcelain sink or something like that, definitely lay something down here at the bottom so that way this is rubbing up against that and not directly on the sink. All right. So now that I got this bad boy washed out, what I'm going to do is grab me a towel and we're going to dry her up and make sure we dry it up real good. Get all the water off. You don't want no water on here for when we get started. So I'm going to take this out, dry it up, and then um, I'll see you on the flip. Um, and then we're going to start actually going through the seasoning process. All right. So see you on the flip. Okay. We back in. Um, you see, it got this bad boy nice and dry. Everything is all dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Crisco. All right. Now, um, there's a lot of videos on there where they tell you that you should always use something like corn oil or saffron oil, something that can take high heat. But as you see before, when I was warming up my, uh, Warming up my oven, I only heat it to 350 because that's all you really need. You don't need to heat your oven up to 500 and then then if you heat up to 500, then yes, you have to use a um, an oil that has a high heating rate, such as saffron or peanut oil or, or corn oil. So being that we're doing that 350, this is uh, actually good. They said you should use like a solid-based um, um, cooking oil anyway, and I don't know anything more solid-based of a cooking oil than Crisco. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of Crisco, maybe like a spoonful, cut myself a spoon, spoonful of Crisco, and then we take a paper towel, and then uh, in the paper towel, we're gonna smear this all in the the pan, you know, get it all over real good, all right? So be, don't be stingy, be liberal about it. You wanna make sure you get it all in the cracks and crevices really well. I'm gonna speed this up so that way you're not sitting here watching me do all this. Okay, we're all done. It's all, you know, all lubed up, I should say. Uh, greased up, however you wanna put it. Uh, on both sides, got the handles and everything. You gotta make sure you get all parts. Both sides, this bad boy's mad slippery because it's heavy. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our preheated oven, preheated at 350 already and just wipe my hands off real quick so it doesn't fall on my hand and we're going to make sure like I said before you want to make sure the oven is uh has aluminum pan down there and you're going to place this bad boy in the oven upside down on the aluminum pan boom just like that and just let that sit in there and marinate for about an hour you can do a little bit longer but at least an hour I'm gonna let that go in there for about two, but an hour should be suffice. And after that, um, after an hour, you just turn your oven off and just let it cool off in the oven. And then you take it out um, and then you're good. It should be all seasoned. Bad boy should be nice pitch black, just how, you, just how mama's uh, fry pan used to look. So when I, uh, I'll see you on the flip when that bad boy comes back out and we'll see what she looks like. Okay, we back in. Now that the oven's all cooled off, I'm going to go ahead and pull the pan out. As you can see, this bad boy is gleam, gleaming. Pull this bad boy out. It might be stuck a little bit to the aluminum, but as you see, that's the residue from the oil. Okay, so this is what we this is what we got here. So, so as you can see, this pan is nice and shiny. It's slightly sticky, you know, not really sticky, but just in some parts. But so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna Take a little more of the Crisco and just rub it in there because uh, what you guys should be, what you guys got to know is that the way to keep the pan seasoned is like when you cook food in high fat like bacon or sausage or anything like that. You want to keep cooking your food and that stuff. So being that we have our coating baked in on here. What we're going to do is put a little bit more and just smear it over just to get a nice little top layer. And then, then you're going to put a little paper towel in it and store that bad boy. And then we're going to be great. So I'm just going to rub this in. I'm not going to bore you with all that. I'll fast forward through all this. Okay. 
Now this is what the finished product looks like. As you see, I got it all wiped down, got all the residue out. And uh, keep in mind, you're gonna cook with high fat foods and it's gonna keep adding, adding to the whole sealing and seasoning of the pan. And then you're only, you're only washing it with just hot water and then wiping it out with paper towel and letting it air dry until it's completely dry, no water whatsoever, and then you store it. Whenever you store it, make sure you don't store any of these with any lids on them or anything like that because if you don't use it on a regular basis, then through time, humidity is going to set in and then the water will start to rust your pan. So this method applies to any brand new skillet or old skillet, whatever. It all, you know, seals or seasons the same and that's pretty much it. So with that being said, this is uh, your tour of the Lodge cast iron, you know, grill skillet, however you want to call it or, you know, grill fry pan you know this is what i called it and uh this is the tour of that and how to seal it or season it as some call it um i'm nez and i'm out this piece